the Neolithic Revolution marks the change from nomadic hunting and gathering to a settled life in small villages 12,000 years ago, which led to the development of agriculture and the domestication of animals. Living life in year-round permanent dwellings led to changes in how society was organized, the kinds of laws that were practiced, as well as property rights, protection of territory. It also created specialization, innovation, and trade. These economic and cultural changes ultimately allowed for the growth of urban civilization. Due to shifts in climate around 10,000 BC, wild wheat and barley became widely available, encouraging populations to settle down in small communities where the crops were abundant. A second shift in climate around 9,000 BC caused a decrease in these wild strains, which then encouraged Neolithic people to maximize the crops they had by improving their growing methods, actively tending the crops, selectively breeding them, and saving seeds. This focus on method led to the rise of agriculture and the domestication of dogs, sheep, goats, cattle, and pigs. The establishment of permanent homes changed dramatically the nomadic way of life. The importance of land created the need not only for laws, but also a system of writing to record, organize, and keep peace. With a surplus of food, more specialization was possible and larger populations centered around the farming community. Increase in communication, connectivity, innovation, and stability. Religious rituals also created economic and social stability. also brought with it some problems, including class division, gender division, and land dependence. A more organized way of life led to agricultural groups that created upper classes who had a lot and lower classes that had little. The change in how work was done also led to division in gender roles with men working in the public and women working in the home. Also, living more closely to other humans and animals as well as poor sanitation, disease became a danger, as did a higher dependence on the land and its consequent threats, drought and fire. Nevertheless, the, the Neolithic Revolution brought with it structure, stability, and resource surplus. Eating more meat regularly required new ways to preserve it, including the use of salt, which was a vitally important resource for pre-modern societies. Salt dried out the meat, allowing it to be preserved through the winter. Salt became one of the goods traded between communities, and with the use of trade, networking, and sharing of information, further increased cult cultural exchange that began with the rise of agriculture and permanent settlement. 